Hello, my dear friends. In this video, I want to talk about a very, very important element that can really catapult and boost your entire spiritual path. In my many years of working with people, both on an individual level and both in groups, especially with my core students, what I see is that many people are conditioned to believe that somebody else far away, the teacher that they see there, I don't know who it is, Osho or Ramana Maharshi or Vivekananda or the Buddha back in the day or Jesus, they can attain happiness. They can attain peace. They can attain the divine reality. But I cannot attain it. It's a very, very prevalent and common thought among people. Somebody else can succeed, but not me. Those figures, look at them, those great, successful, famous, enlightened, whatever, right? All those people who became big, look at them. They can do it. I can't. Now, let us make something very clear. If you go and ask any person who became ever something big in their life, whether it's on a material level or on a spiritual level, you will be really astonished to discover that it took them a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, a lot of trial and error to reach the point of flowering. We see the point of flowering through a book, through a video, through a movie, through TV, right? We see the, the end result, the end product, but we don't see the work in progress. And this is very, very important. Arnold Schwarzenegger said something very beautiful. He said, many people think I was just born this bodybuilder, this huge, muscular, successful, you know, successful guy with this amazingly uh, shredded body and so on. But what they don't know is the thousands of times I failed in order to get there. Now, we're talking about bodybuilding there. So when we're talking about the spiritual path, we have to have even more compassion and patience and understanding that you don't just become happy like this, or you don't discover your inner silence like that. You don't become enlightened, boom, in one moment. It doesn't happen this way. It takes patience. It takes perseverance. And most of all, it takes love. When you love something, when you truly deeply love something, it's not a matter of effort in that sense. You really want to go towards it. You really want to make the extra mile, to go the extra mile, to make that effort. And it doesn't feel so much like an effort. You know how many times people ask me or told me, wow, Tom, you're so courageous. You go, you, you go to different countries. You left things behind. You have the courage to say your truth and so on and so on. You follow your path. And I always find, find it very funny because I don't, I don't have any feeling of courage. I just have a feeling I really love something and I will do anything to follow it. I would pay any price. You see? It has nothing to do with courage in that sense. Unless by courage we mean following one's heart. And in that sense, yes, it is courage. It is following my heart or your heart or one's heart. I want you to know, and I emphasize the word to know, to know, and to know is very deep in your soul and heart. To know that you can reach emancipation, freedom, wholeness, happiness, lasting peace. This is attainable and this is reachable for you and for anybody who just wants it truly. It's all a question of wanting it truly. If you really want it, then you simply start walking the path and you don't care how many steps there are to take. Because every moment that you touch something real inside yourself through meditation, a moment of contemplation, a moment of sitting with a spiritual teacher, in that moment you're touching something real. And it doesn't matter how big it was or how strong it was, you've touched something real. You've touched yourself. And that, that is of an unimaginable value.
And every step you make, every step you make builds up a certain momentum, a certain momentum and a certain body of wisdom, a body of knowing your own spiritual body that at a certain point gains enough momentums and be, momentum and becomes total enough. We can call that awakening. And then in a later stage, it becomes even more total. And maybe we can call that liberation. The journey never ends. Every moment of touching the truth, to whatever degree you're touching it, is unimaginably valuable. So my dear friends, if you love the truth, if you really want to achieve the only thing that matters in this life, happiness, wholeness, true radiance, light, clarity, peace, the deep sense of okayness, wisdom. Follow the spiritual path. Don't busy yourself with a future imaginative result. Focus on the step at hand. Do it with love. Enjoy the revelation that it opens before you. And without you noticing, one day, you will simply witness your own flowering. A certain quantum leap will have occurred without you even noticing. So I send you my blessings as always. And I hope that you follow your own heart all the way. I'll see you in the next videos, my dear ones. Mm -hmm.